Hey, do you need wallpaper? Go to wallpaperboulevard.com. Give them my name, tell them Spencer Colgan sent you, and they'll be sure to give you 10% off at checkout. Check it out, tell them I said hello. They have a tremendous selection. Don't shop anywhere else until you've checked out www.wallpaperboulevard.com. The pattern is absolutely gorgeous. Now with dark wallpaper, what stands out on dark wallpaper is anything very light, such as the horse, such as the seam. And watch this, please. I'm going to expose the wall underneath the seam. <clears throat> this seam is actually overlapped. This side is just up onto the side by perhaps a one hundredth of an inch. Right here. I can feel it. But if you think it's the wall, it's not. Let me just show you. See that white there? That's your wall. Now if we, if we bring the wall covering over, what this is, is the side of the wallpaper, which happens to be white. Even with this very high-end wall cover, they still have not dyed the sides. So, not a mistake, just to let you know. See, just check that out, please. See that? You can see that. I mean, I can see it. And many folks would be like, that's okay. But let me just show you something. Now that, there's no overlap there whatsoever. That's your wall. That's the seam going back into place. Your wall is what they call a little pregnant. I know it sounds silly, but if your wall comes out a little and goes in a little, the walls look absolutely perfect. But when you put something up like this that requires connections in literally maybe a thousand places in, during the whole sheet, because the wall comes out a little here and in a little there, I had to really work magic to move this. It was off considerably. And you're still seeing a manifestation of it right there. Although it's light, that's off. Michael, this is on. See that? That's off, but this is on. How could that be? It's not your paper, it's the wall. So we, you know, I stretch it up, you know, I move it up a little, but then we gotta make sure that we move the wrinkles out that we create by manipulating it. But the video is to show you that your seams, because the wall covering is, is black, um, will show anything at all, which is not black. And that's why we're seeing the seam. The remedy, color pencils when it's fully dry. But I just wanted to let you know. What I first want to tell you is that I did something called banding which is to take the same color in the wall covering and paint it under the point where the seams will fall. This seam is perfectly together. There's no overlap whatsoever. It's very nice. You can't feel anything. But what, why do we still see white? Well, at the very edge of this wall covering, there's a white edge. Okay, so, so you can see that it doesn't change when we move it together, except we're overlapping it. See? So, so it's, it's nice, it's together right here. So if we move it closer, we're causing, we're, I'm making the two edges collide and they're coming up. So, you know, it's not something that everyone, you know, realizes. They're like, hey, what's up with my seams, you know? I just want to show this to you so that you understand what's going on. And, um, you know, we wait till it dries and we just color it in. This was way off, like literally 3 sixteenths of an inch off this horse down here. But of course I moved this one up and this one down um, and we made it match. So I'll let you know how it looks at the end.
So this is for your daughter-in-law, Stacy, just to show her that I'm done and that she can be very happy with it. Thank you, Stephanie. I mean, Stacy. Beautiful wallpaper. You would think. And you would be right. Very high quality wall covering. But I can tell you that any dark wallpaper, especially black, will require repair or finesse after you're done. What am I talking about? Well, from here, it looks wonderful, doesn't it? But this is inevitable with black wallpaper. Now, let me just tell you something. It's not the wall underneath it, okay? Because I banded the seams, meaning that underneath the seams, I put a matching color paint strip. Okay, and that's what we do. A professional wallpaper hanger takes the time to do this right. And you know it and I know it. And so if you're the homeowner and you want that extra tip on how to get rid of these lines, I strongly suggest that you invest in good watercolor pencils. Now, can I tell you a secret? Do you want good wallpaper? Get a matte finish wallpaper. Do you see the sheen on the wallpaper? In other words, you see what I see. You're not seeing a reflection of light there. So you're seeing the sheen. This is the most beautiful finish on wallpaper. Matte finish. The most beautiful. Here's why. You see what's there rather than reflections of light. Any little bump under your wallpaper, if you have texture or any imperfection that happens as a result of the installation, like wrinkling the product, will show on any product except for matte finish. What is matte? It's flat. It has a slight sheen to it. And you can see it there. You see the luster right there? Isn't that beautiful to see that? <gasps> Look at that eggshell-like reflection of light. That's all you want to see on wallpaper. You don't want your wallpaper looking like a toilet bowl shining back at you. So, to, one thing, this is very porous. And so you want to avoid letting paste settle on the front of it. You can let it get on there, but you want to wash it off right away. Here's why. Uh, I was a baseball aficionado in the early 90s. And there's a fellow named uh, John Wetland. He was the premier closer for the New York Yankees at the time. His successor became the most uh, talented closer, which was Mariano Rivera. Uh, and um, anyway, I don't watch baseball anymore, but I used to. But if you watched baseball back in the day, you'll recall that the 1996 World Series featured John Wetland, who was the MVP, and his hat had sweat stains on it. These folks are superstitious. He felt that he had to pitch with that hat in order to do well. So he never changed it. But on his hat were white stains from the salt in his perspiration. And if you leave paste on this type of wallpaper, you will get John Wetland's memorabilia hat on your wall. Okay, so let me show you something. This is what I've had to do with this beautiful install. This is almost dripping wet. Okay, it's almost dripping. 
If you squeeze it, it will drip. Okay. So I'm giving that a copious amount of water. With my color pencil, I'm going to put color on the seam. Okay. And then either with my finger or with a wet brush, I'm just gonna feather it in. Okay, that's it. You see what I mean? It's really not complicated stuff, but I'll tell you what, you do this, your customers are gonna love you. If you don't do this, your customers are gonna hate you. You have to do it. So I think the title will be, Why Does This Happen? Okay. Now, you see why you have to rub it in? Look. And now you might say, yeah, Spencer, that looks great, but how does it look when it's done? It looks the same way. Let's do this one. Let me show you another trick with this, which I love. Watch this. Okay? Now, just so you don't blame me, you see how the horse meets up here? Top and bottom, right? You see how we're, not, where we're off at least a sixteenth of an inch? Folks, this is the only thing you can do here. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. You don't want to leave that here. You know why? Because Aunt Ethel, who has nothing better to do, who's going to be sitting and looking at your wallpaper, is going to come out after she's done. Ah. Uh, um, well, let's give the, let's give her daughter a name, okay? What, what would we call the daughter? Uh, Beth, I don't know if you looked at your wallpaper, but, uh, let me show you something. And Beth is going to come in, knowing she's dealing with a, an irrational person. But Beth is going to say, let me give this man a call right now because I didn't see this. Okay. And then she's going to say, I don't want to say anything. I love that one. I don't want to say anything, uh, but... Then why don't you just shut up? I didn't want to say anything. When they were younger, they never opened their mouths. And then, then when they get older, they don't want to say anything. What happened between 30 and 80? Okay. What you're looking at is the reason I love what I do. If you love wallpaper, even if you don't love what you're looking at in its pattern, although I do, you still love the work because it took so much to get it to look like this. Yeah, it's an excellent wall covering, no doubt about it. It's great, it's a great product. And I'll post the, uh, the name to this stuff. It's a unique name, I already forget. It's called Mind the Gap. Mind the Gap. And um, with any dark wall covering, it's, uh, it's a lot of work, you know? a lot of work but when you're doing dark wool covering those corners got to be dark you can't reveal the corner 
Now, let me just show you what I do in these corners. I take two, two of these, see this? And I cut the wall covering so that this piece is overlapped at least a good one eighth of an inch onto this wall. Because if it's not, and you're short, you, can, you don't want to be coloring in the wall, you know? You can color in wall covering, that's cool. But you don't want to be coloring in the painted wall underneath it, which should already be banded. Banded meaning you've painted the seams, right? So I didn't, I think I do have a picture. I think I'll put it in this video just to show the customer. I, I banded, meaning I put vertical strips at the seams of the matching paint. What do you think? Do you love it? I do. Thanks for watching my video. Let me show you uh, of the, on the next frame, the product. The wallpaper collection made in Transylvania. Mind the gap. Okay, that's it. Please click on like. Don't go yet. Click on like. Thank you.